All right, so I have long held the opinion that we need to do away with preseason rankings, and I have got the reason why that has to happen ASAP, like next year. We need to stop ranking teams. Why? Miami is patient zero. They're affecting everything. All right, so right now in the rankings, the committee is continuing to overrate the ACC by a staggering margin, by the way. And, and I included Clemson in this data, which brought the averages way down. Here we go. So I took the FPI, ESPN's, ESPN's FPI, the Sagarin ratings, and the S&P Plus. Those are three computer models that rank teams. And then I averaged out what these teams are in the computer ranking. So you get a computer average about where you should sit in the national ranking order of teams teams top to bottom, 1 to 130. Then I measured that number against where the committee ranks you, and I came up with where you're at in terms of a margin, plus or minus, uh, from where the, co the committee ranks you, from where the computers rank you. Here's what the numbers suggest, that the ACC is overrated by about 17 spots. That's the entire ACC. Okay, that's including Clemson, which is right where all the computers have them. They're ranked number two by the committee and number two by all of the computers. Okay, so you take the next three teams, Syracuse, North Carolina State, and Boston College, and if you strip uh, Clemson away, those teams are overrated by 23 spots on average from where their computer models show to where the committee put them. Well, why is this? Why is this? It can't just be Frank Beamer is the loudest voice in the room, right? Right? Then I boiled it down. It's Miami. It's preseason rankings. Everyone always tells me they don't matter, don't worry, it's this and that. Yes, they do. Our confirmation bias is staggering in college football, and it's seeping into the college football playoff rankings. Look at this. If you just view Miami as patient zero, what will you find? All of the teams that are overrated right now in the top 25, or most of them, have a tie to Miami. How? Well, let's start with this. LSU continues to be overrated even, even after getting drilled at home by Alabama, getting shut out, outgained by almost 300 yards, and yet they're still in the top 10. Why? Well, their schedule has been so difficult, and they've got all those top 10 wins against ranked teams. <gasps> One of them was Miami! In the first week of the season, Miami is a four-loss team right now that has losses to Duke, Virginia, LSU, and Boston College. Duke and Virginia? That Miami team is not very good, so LSU is overrated based on Miami. And then you get to the ACC portion of this, by the way. Here's where it starts. Boston College beats Miami. North Carolina State beats Boston College. Syracuse beats North Carolina State. It's the exact order that you see these teams in the rankings. Syracuse is 13, North Carolina State is 14, Boston College is 17. And where does it all go back to? Miami and the preseason rankings. Tell me I'm wrong. I feel like, I feel like I'm playing cards with my brother's kids right now. Can, can it be this simple? that we continue to overrate teams in the preseason and then allow that to seep into our analysis during the course of the regular season? Because that's what it suggests here. The data bears out that some of the most overrated teams in the country are Syracuse, North Carolina State, and Boston College. They play eight conference games, which is a large reason why they only have two losses. One of those teams, North Carolina State, had a game canceled against West Virginia, which was, would have certainly been their third loss of the season. Why are they rated so high? People can ask me or tell me all they want that it doesn't matter, it just matters what the top four is. Here's why that's wrong. When you go to turkey dinner and Thanksgiving dinner, what's the most important part of the meal? The gravy, right? We all know it. And the gravy recipe is so important because it's not perfect every time, right? You can mix a little of this and you mix a little of that and how do you make it and what pan do you make it in and how much of the you know turkey fat do you cook it in and all all of that is important, right? Well, if you change the recipe, you change the gravy. You change the most important part of the meal. The top four in the college football playoff committee rankings are the gravy. And we continually mess with the recipe down below it. That committee is messing with the recipe right now, folks. And the seasoning is Miami.